Hey ladies, how are you? It's Chunk that says it in the Chunk. Goonies. That's who it is, Chunk. Chunk. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear my impression? Well, no, Were you impressed by it? Of course. Oh, good. Of course. <laughs> it's nice that everyone says it as well. Everyone says our name. Of course. Yeah. Nice. This is good. Ladies, congratulations on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's 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 pretty epic. It's pretty epic. I've 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 stopped myself watching the whole season because it's uh, it's it's a lot in the best possible way. It's a lot yeah. of things and it's great. Um, tell me about reading. Obviously, you get the scripts for something like this, but then it comes from from comic books. Tell me about going back to the comic books and reading reading about your characters did you did you find anything in in the comics that you weren't aware of having read the scripts for the first time it's that it's the visual sensibility isn't it it's mm. i i read the comics first and then i read the scripts and then i went back to the comics and i think there's just something really interesting about comic books that you have those panels you have this artwork, which is really specific and quite wild. And then you have Neil's words, which are fantastic and, and, and whip smart and extremely soulful. And something happens because you're receiving so many different sorts of artistic information that you really do build the, the film of it in your mind. And so I really love that way round of working, of being able to receive information about a series in an entirely different way and then go back to the script and see what that brought out of me. Mm. But I do love the comics, they're so particular. I just um, regret that I never held it like a paper mm. copy. Mm. Yeah. That's what I, I would have liked to have had the smell of the comic as well. <laughs> yeah, it's like the single yeah. edition, yeah. Yeah, I had uh, read the comics years ago and um, then doing this gave me a chance to revisit. And that was so, so helpful because I had an idea of what I thought this story was. And then actually what was quite satisfying was seeing how much of it directly translated mm. from the comics yeah. to this show. I think that is like, particularly as a fan, it is so gratifying to see that so much of the stuff that you know and that you love is still in the show. Can you, can you see having worked with him and worked on something like this, just how influential Neil is with his stories and with his artwork because when he first started doing especially Sandman it was so revolutionary that it's led in some respects to what we have now with so many comic books and so many superheroes that his vision kind of set the stage for a lot of what's going on now can you see why he's so revered by so many people yeah it looks like the show it looks like nothing else it's so distinctly and uniquely Neil Gaiman's mind and world and that that for me as soon as the script came to me um and I saw Neil's name like I was I was in like instantly because you know like you say the joy of being able to I, I, and it's so it's so I mean it's been waiting and aching to be made for so long so to see it's so cinematic and to literally see like you say the kind of plucking from the comic book straight to screen was really um yeah, really, really thrilling, but it is, it's like nothing else. It's also a testament to how well the comic stands up. I mean, it was first written in 1989 and there's mm. still mm. things that we have, you know, shooting this in 2021, we have directly lifted from that. There's very few things that um, that stand the test of time. I think, you know, we we look at them and we go, oh, that was, yeah, that worked in at that point, but it's, it's, you know, it's less relevant now. And obviously there have been changes and there have been tweaks, but the source material still stands up. Absolutely, it's a, it's an it's an amazing amazing thing, and also I mean it's a show that this is a, a comic that is so much. I mean, are you excited even if it's the second season and you might not be involved to maybe go back to the source and, and continue going into Neil's world because there's so many he's done so many amazing comics that the world of kind of Vertigo comics is is so vast that you know there's a lot for you to 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 read. It's um. It's extraordinary looking at those at those comics because you get a real insight into Neil Gaiman's mind mm. and just how open he is to so many different things at once. And he's it's a very resolved point of view. It's a point of view that is artistic. It's informed. It's intelligent. It's historical. It has an unabashed love of popular culture, and those things are mashed together with one person's real aesthetic. You you feel it, and um, also what I love about it is it feels that when it was created, it was as an artistic venture rather than a commercial one, and mm. that's why I think it has endured because it has been made with a soul. 
Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Guys, thank you so much for your time. Wish you all the best with the show. I hope you guys fantastic for you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Yeah.